what you're looking at here is a 32 year old guy with no children driving a family car. This has presented some issues and so for the purposes of this review I have consulted some motorists who have children and it has been illuminating. First off let me introduce you to this, the new Toyota Rush. It's an Avanza based sort of SUV built by Daihatsu in Indonesia. It differs from the Avanza in that it actually looks really rather good and instead of 7 seats you'll have to make do with 5. I really like the look of the Rush. It looks like a mini Fortuna actually, which I think is really going to help it find a lot of homes in this country. The LED headlights and taillights certainly help it feel more modern. And if we move down the side of the car, it's hard not to notice these beautiful 17 inch wheels, which are fitted as standard. Overall, I think Toyota have definitely done enough here to make the Rush feel very different from the car that it's based on. While the Rush is massively more appealing than the Avanza, it still has to make do with the same chassis, gearbox and engine as that car. It's really old tech, so probably means it's bulletproof, but there are some downsides. There's very little power and torque, and so to make the best use of it, Toyota have put in very short gear ratios. And that's kind of fine around the city. It makes it a little bit difficult to drive, but it's actually a pretty perky car at slower speeds. And that's fine if you live in Mumbai or Jakarta. And I've driven in Mumbai and besides it being absolutely terrifying, you never really go faster than say 18 k's an hour. But this is South Africa. We have a lot of highways and we really like to go on holiday. And that's where the rush just doesn't perform very well at all. When you're in fifth gear and you're doing 120 k's an hour, the engine is sitting at 3,600 RPM. It's very noisy and pretty much the exact opposite of what you want on a long journey. It's not particularly relaxing. So if you're looking for a city runabout, this might fit the bill. But if you do a lot of long distance cruising, this car really needs a sixth gear. So the Rush is not the best car for long distances, but will be decent as a city runaround. And over the course of our test, we averaged around 8 litres to the 100, which is fair for a vehicle of this size. But what it lacks in power, it makes up for in practicality. Removing the third row of seats has resulted in an absolutely cavernous boot space. It's much larger than that in the Toyota RAV4. In fact, it's one of the biggest boots I think I've ever seen. And the second row of seats tumbles forward and that results in an absolutely house moving amount of space. This car is great for carrying your kids things around, bicycles, that sort of thing. Go in there, no problem. But as my procreation consultant told me, it's great for his kids, but his kids have friends and then where must they sit? And I think that would have been awesome if Toyota just offered the third row of seats as an optional extra and you could remove them when you didn't need them as it is in the Fortuna. Right, let's talk about the interior and thankfully there is a lot to talk about. There's a seven inch touchscreen with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, USB ports up here and HDMI ports. And when you put the car in reverse, it beeps. Thanks car, I, I know I put it in reverse. But you get a reverse camera and park distance control, which is very nice. There's auto climate control, auto headlights, a multifunction steering wheel, but there's no reach adjustment. So you can only go up and down, you can't come out. And I think for tall drivers, it's going to be difficult to find your ideal driving position, even though the seat is height adjustable. There's electric windows all around, electric mirrors as well, push button start, keyless entry, so you just keep that in your pocket when you need to get in the car. And overall, it is a really decent interior spec. You get all of this as standard for about 300 grand for the manual gearbox and about 314 for the auto. But here is a top tip when you get your rush, this might annoy you. If you have the radio on, and you want it to go off, if you hit the off button, which sounds quite sensible, right? The screen just goes off and you still have radio. So what you need to do is hit this button here, which says radio off. Now I know that does seem quite obvious, but I, I couldn't figure it out, it was quite annoying. 
so I thought I'd tell you about it. Generous interior spec, good looks, great practicality and a decent price tag. But of all its features, the most sought after and most valuable might just be the badge on the nose. Another thing Toyota really got right with the Rush is the safety. It's fitted as standard with six airbags, vehicle stability control, hill start assist and of course ABS. But that badge on the nose does mean a lot to South Africans and it probably means that when you come to sell the car further down the line there will always be a queue of people lining up to give you a wad of cash for your car. But I wouldn't look at the Rush in isolation. For instance, there are other cars out there from Japan and from China which are similarly priced if not cheaper and offer better warranties than this Rush. And whether the car being from China is a downside or not is a constantly evolving issue. Also keep in mind that if you want to stay in the Toyota brand, if you take 300k right now into a Toyota dealership and ask to see their secondhand RAV4s, you will have a lot of good cars to choose from. In fact, right now on our website, there are 530 secondhand RAV4s to choose from. So if you don't mind the way this car drives and you're willing to put up with a bit of noise at high speeds, then I can see the Rush being a pretty solid family car at a decent price. And right now, that is pretty much what South Africans want and need. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed that, you know, maybe, maybe give it a like and uh, definitely subscribe to be the first to see our videos as they drop. Uh, yeah, definitely do that.